Hi everyone, welcome to my kitchen. Today we're gonna make a delicious meal called enfrijoladas. Very similar to enchiladas, but there is not the same. These enfrijoladas have so simple ingredients, easy to make, and so delicious. So this is what we're gonna need. We're gonna need um, tortillas. They, they can be hot or cold, whatever. We're gonna need uh, some chopped uh, onion and also a little piece of onion, some fresh cheese, some uh, sour cream. These, all the ingredients are gonna be up to you, but uh, basically just a little bit of everything. I will need about seven or eight uh, chile. This is called um, chile de arbol. It's very simple. Uh, these are a little uh, like uh, very thin and very long chiles, chile de arbol. Some oil and some lard. This is because I'm going to cook the beans with the lard and the tortillas. I'm going to fry them with the oil. In case you cannot find the lard, you can use oil. It's only that the lard gives the beans a very nice uh, flavor. And also I'm going to need some beans. I already cooked the, cook, cook the beans here in the pot for uh, about 40 minutes. Uh, also, if you don't know how to make them, I have the video for it. I'm going to place a link on the video. And also, if you just don't want to cook them and you are in a hurry, you can use canned beans, okay? Don't buy the refried beans. Just buy simple whole beans. If you don't want to make the beans and you live in the U.S., you can buy the Goya Pinto beans. They're really nice for this. So let's get started. I have placed three cups of the beans with some broth here in the blender. I'm just going to add one cup of water and I'm going to blend this really well. Okay, so here in the pan, I already turned on the heat. And I'm going to place about one tablespoon of, of lard. If you cannot find the lard, use regular oil. But this is going to give it flavor. After you have placed the uh, lard, I'm going to put some of the, uh, well, all of the chiles de arbol. And a piece of onion and I'm gonna fry this for about two or three minutes. Now that the peppers have cooked, you can see they, the color changed a little bit. So after they, uh, they're cooked, we're gonna add the beans. For the tortillas, you guys are gonna heat the oil and when it's hot, you're gonna fry the tortillas one by one just a few seconds each side and then just take them out and drain them take out the oil and then we're going to place them in a paper towel for the beans even though we use the peppers the uh, beans are not going to be spicy they're just going to have some flavor at this point you want to taste it and see if it needs some salt and I already tasted it and it does need some of it. So season your beans. And when this comes to a boil, it's going to be ready. For this dish, you need the beans to be like a soup or sort of like that. You don't want them too thick because it's not going to work. So if you see that your beans are thick, add some of more water, maybe uh, so that you have this consistency. Okay, so now the beans are ready. I have lowered the heat of the beans so that um, they are not like burning. And the tortillas, they're all done. So we're just going to put the tortillas into the beans. Put them in a plate. Kind of roll them out like this. And then next. It's very simple to make 
this dish and also very cheap. I'm going to place about four of these and then I want to show you how I'm going to serve it. Okay, so I, I am done and at the very end you can add whatever you like, onions, chopped onion, some cheese, And at the end, some sour cream. Get it, give, <coughs> give it a try. It's very good. And thank you for watching the video. See you next time. Bye. Okay, so I, I am done. And at the very end, you can add whatever you like, onions chopped onion, some cheese, and at the end, some sour cream. Get it, give, <coughs> give it a try, it's very good and Thank you for watching the video. See you next time. Bye.